Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Cities Skyline video. This is part two. Uh, I'm only playing up to the point where my little town here turns into a little hamlet. So I think this video will probably get me to that point. When we left off, we were having a uh, sewage water problem there. And then somehow I forgot to power my water pump here. So let's go ahead and take care of that first with a power line. I don't, want, I don't really want power lines near the shore necessarily, so I'm just going to run a, a power line over like this. Don't want to mess up the nice lake view here. And, okay, for sewage water, we will go back into our water menu here. And we have the water drain pipe. So we're bringing in water from this lake. And then if you go over here, you can see this is, this is these arrows stand, uh, they represent the water current flow. So I'm going to put my drainage over here and let it let it flow down river to those unfortunate people over there and then we will take some pipe run a pipe over here and we need another we need some power for this drainage pump so let me find where I get 8 megawatts in there. So I'll go ahead and put another uh, turbine right there. And for now, we'll just run a power line from here to there. And then later on, I'll run a power line up this way too. Okay, so I'm going to press L3 to unpause time. And there goes the sewage water problem. Now we've got some... industry over here and some commercial pop properties popping up apparently uh, yeah you can see this blue area represents the area that electricity will travel through so you don't have to run electricity everywhere here I ran it up here and so since all of this is now connected in this blue it's all getting power up here these are not connected just yet so it's gonna be a little bit maybe, uh, maybe I should go ahead and run yeah I'm gonna go ahead and run a power line up to here so we can have our industry get going on pause time and there goes industry commercial endeavors are popping up there's a laundromat I don't know what that is there's an ice cream shop barbecue it looks like right there our town continues to grow very nice very nice okay the info view I'll pause time for this uh, access the info view through the radial menu. So 
we'll exit out of those menus, go to this menu, and there's the info view. And this basically gives you a bunch of different ways to look at information that you'll, you will need to monitor as you play. But uh, this is electricity coverage, water, crime rates, fire safety. And I don't have a police station or a fire station just yet, but uh, that's where that information will be. I don't have, I don't have a way to build a... Uh, a doctor's office or a health clinic or whatever whatever the low level medical facility is education I don't have any schools to build yet but yeah here's all this information here you can look at as you go noise pollution earthquake detection that's interesting radio coverage tours tourism so there's all that I uh, will unpause and let Strummerville continue to grow. We don't have any cars on the street yet. We don't have people walking around yet that I can see. Info window. Oh, there's a car. Okay, I'm going to pause time here again. The info windows, you can see more information about buildings, vehicles, and citizens by using the inspector tool. So here's the inspector tool. And you can go over to a building. It's a neighborhood shop. It doesn't tell you specifically what it is. Neighborhood shop. Big Bite restaurant. That one, quiet corner shop, a drugstore. All right. Linden residence. So yeah, you can you can look at all these various buildings. Garments unlimited, or was that limited? Limited, not unlimited. Let's see if we click on a car, a new buggy. The owner of is Aspen Blake. He's a guard at Garments Limited, and he resides at the park residence. Uh, I can rename things if I want to, but I'm going to go ahead and unpause here. Let Strummerville continue to grow. People, cars are streaming in off the highway. They've all heard about the amazing Big Bite restaurant. I could now make a building historical if I wanted to. So I could make the Big Bite historical, I guess. Uh, yeah, historical building continues to function normally, but it will preserve its visual appearance. So this symbol, we'll go ahead and use our... Uh, in our uh, inspector tool but this symbol basically means that they don't have enough workers here for this place uh, so we should probably go ahead and build some more um, residential zones so we could put something here, I guess, or here, or like this. Let's go ahead and uh, put some things here. Uh, and let's go ahead and make this commercial. I don't know what would appear here if I was to put a if I was to zone this. I wonder if anything would pop up at all. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and unpause time. More people are moving in. And that little indicator went away.
Lots of cars. Oh, there we go. We have reached our first milestone. We are now a little hamlet. The next milestone is to become a worthy village, then a tiny town, a boom town, busy town, big town, small city, big city, grand city, capital city, colossal city, metropolis, and megalopolis. And as you go through, as you achieve each milestone, you unlock new features, new services, new buildings. So now I can build a landfill, I can build a medical clinic, a uh, medical clinic, elementary school, recycling center, healthcare, education services. Then if I become, if we become a worthy village, we'll have emergency services, police department, different uh, industry specializations, residential specializations, commercial specializations, policies, like the distribution of smoke detectors, uh, a firehouse, a police station, firehouse. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> I see firehouse and police station twice down there at the bottom. Tiny town. Yeah, you get the picture. You unlock new roads, new canals. You just you unlock new things as you level up. What a what a surprise. When we be, when we become a uh, boom town, we can. Uh, legalize the recreational use of marijuana apparently so I'm really looking forward to that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video right here uh, I guess I might make some more city skylines videos if anybody's interested in seeing them I could make some more you know when I reach the other milestones we could look we could see how Strummerville grows I guess if anybody cares <laughs> But I wanted to make a, at least a couple of videos because I do think this game is kind of cool. Um, one thing I didn't show, this is this will be kind of anticlimactic, but this was a pop-up and I ignored it. This is the economy screen. So this is these are the sorts of uh, economic information you have access to. Taxes and budget, and loans and income expenses. Yeah, so sorry to end the video on a really boring note there, but um, yeah, that'll do it. So from Strummerville, this is Old Gamer Guy signing off. Thanks for watching.